Hello everyone. This video is going to talk about Western Digital, My Passport, Elite, Portable USB Hard Drive Repair and Data Recovery. This is the PN number on the external case on the back of the hard drive. This number can be used to identify this external hard drive to look for parts for repair purpose. This is the hard drive inside the caddy. These are the four rubber shock absorbers. This is the aluminum sheet to protect the hard drive from the effect of the outside electricity or magnetic objects. This is the PCB board for the hard drive. This is the PCB board number. This number is very important. We use this number to look for the donor board. This picture shows each component and its function. First, USB adapter, two, motor chip, which make the hard drive motor spin, three, motor contacts, four, spindle contacts, which control the hard drive's read-write head go back and forth on the disks, five, RAM memory chip. This chip is used to, for the main chip to to run programs. 6. Main CPU chip. This is the main chip on the hard drive, something like the CPU chip inside the computer. 7. BIOS chip. I emphasize this uh, BIOS chip with a red box. On the second half of this video, we are going to talk about in detail how to swap these two chips to swap the PCB board to rescue a hard drive. Hello everyone. This is a tutorial of how to swap the hard drive PCB board. Locate the model number of the hard drive. Locate the board number of the hard drive PCB board. Go to www.hdd-parts.com. Search for the correct donor board. The correct donor board is found. Why do we have to do the PCB board from a transfer? Because for this model hard drive, one PCB board includes two parts, hardware and firmware. The PCB board firmware includes hard drive's unique configuration data. The hard drive needs this unique configuration data to work. So we have to transfer this unique configuration data from the original board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. Regarding the hard drive PCB board, firmware transfer, we have three things to mention. First, PCB board firmware transfer is different from the hard drive firmware upgrade. The PCB board firmware transfer is to transfer the PCB board firmware from one board to another board. The hard drive firmware upgrade is to upgrade the hard drive's own firmware it nothing to do with another hard drive or another PCB board. Second, we can do the PCB board firmware transfer from the physically damaged PCB board, like a burned, watered, or other kind of damage. Our PCB board firmware transfer success rate is more than 95%. Third, we do the PCB board firmware transfer for our clients for free. This picture illustrated how to do firmware transfer. 
On the left hand side is a bad controller board. On the right hand side is a good controller board. Controller board formula transfer means we transfer the data from the memory chip on the bad board to the memory chip on the good donor board. In the item description part, you can find a firmware transfer form. Please fill this form, print it, and ship together with the board. This picture shows how the clients ship their PCB board to us to do firmware transfer. This picture shows how we ship the donor board to our clients. We carry old brand name hard drive PCB board. If you cannot find the correct donor board or have other questions, you may take pictures of a hard drive and the PCB board email to us. We will find the correct donor board or the best solution for you. Thank you so much for taking your precious time to watch my video. Any comments are really appreciated. If this video is a little bit of help, could you please click on like to support me? Thank you again. Bye.